From the campus of the University of California, San Diego, where it is based, to the ruins of a pre-biblical copper factory in the Jordanian desert, and the fabled city of Florence, where its students, faculty, and staff researchers are already hard at work hoping to decipher one of the great art mysteries of all time, the one-year-old Center of Interdisciplinary Science for Art, Architecture, and Archaeology, Chisa III, brings together scientists, engineers, and art historians who could profoundly change the way the world looks at its culture and its past. Chisa III was created in early 2007 by the California Institute for Telecommunications and Information Technology, CalIT2, in collaboration with UCSD's Division of Arts and Humanities and the Jacobs School of Engineering. Leading the new center, a UC San Diego alumnus and pioneer of art diagnostics, profiled in this 2006 British documentary. Da Vinci detective Maurizio Serracini has spent 30 years honing forensic techniques to delve beneath layers of paint and varnish, and even through solid walls, to unlock the centuries-old secrets of Leonardo's work. Chaser 3 wants to be the leading edge uh, research center to develop technologies uh, in order to understand and uh, to document a state of conservation of uh, cultural artifacts, as well as uh, a, a, to develop uh, also methodologies to study works of art. So any one of these two points on the wall that you see here, in the data that we have now are one millimeter apart. So we are UCSD professor Falco Kuster embodies the center's cross-disciplinary spirit. He is a computer scientist and structural engineer and CalIT's professor of visualization and virtual reality. To find computer scientists and engineers talking with artists or art historians and the insight that's gained out of that by simply having a completely different perspective at how an artifact is studied uh, is fascinating. Kuster led a team of graduate students to Florence in late 2007 to laser scan the main hall of the Palazzo Vecchio. You gotta look at what you wanna scan and kinda pick from there. So we're scanning this mural right here. PhD candidate Michael Olson is applying his knowledge of laser scanning to a reconstruction of the hall where Leonardo da Vinci painted one of his most celebrated murals 500 years ago. The search for the Leonardo's mural, the Battle of Anghiari, has been going on now for 32 years. On and off research projects since the 1970s led Saracini and other experts to believe that the mural may still exist behind a brick wall and fresco by another artist. Until now, non-invasive imaging technologies have turned up clues to the da Vinci mural's location but fell short of confirming its existence. In October 2007, the Italian government decided to resume the search and named the Chisa III director to lead the scientific effort. With funding from CalIT2 and private philanthropists and support from industry partners, including Adelphi Technologies, Chisa III is now testing a new technique on pigments, bricks, and stones from the original east wall of the Palazzo Vecchio that could allow the team to literally see inside the wall for chemical traces of the long-lost mural. We will bring here a portable instrument to do neutron act activation analysis, shooting a source of neutrons through the wall, and um, <clears throat> this neutron flux will um, collide with uh, the atoms of all the chemical elements in the trajectory, and as a result, gamma rays will be created. The technologies for capturing, analyzing, and visualizing structural data will be put to another test soon, a study of the Palazzo Medici, widely considered the birthplace of the Renaissance. The president of the province of Florence announced the project at Chisa III's opening ceremony. Developing new technologies is a cornerstone of Chisa III's mission. Engineers are building new devices to speed the capture of multispectral images, the first version deployed on the center's very first project, a study of da Vinci's The Annunciation at the Uffizi Gallery in Florence. When published, that study is expected to reveal never-before-seen images that could call into question art historians' traditional understanding of the masterpiece. Much as Saracini's previous work on da Vinci's Adoration of the Magi allowed the world to see the master's original underdrawing, long obscured by paint applied long after Leonardo's death. 
At UCSD, engineers have developed a projection system that allows the viewers to take a virtual walk into the painting, stepping forward to move from the visible layer to the invisible underdrawing or vice versa, a technology that could one day give museum goers a whole new way to appreciate great art. The opportunity to work closely with experts in visualization, remote sensing, geographic information systems, and cyber infrastructure is what attracted archaeologist Tom Levy to Chisa 3. This place creates a kind of a nexus uh, where we can bring all these people together with their different expertise to work together to solve a problem uh, using all the new tools, uh, digital tools that are available today. Recently named Associate Director of the Center to oversee its archaeology initiatives, Levy is leading an effort to create a digital archaeology atlas of the Holy Land, the database of sites in Israel, Jordan, and Palestine, and interactive software tools will allow students and researchers to explore the region's archaeological finds in the field and from labs and classrooms thousands of miles away. So if we can make this work for the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, the Holy Land, which has great public appeal, we believe that we can duplicate this and make it available for, for scholars in other areas. While Chisa 3 already has global reach, it aims to have a local impact as well. It participated in the launch of Journey to the Copper Age, an exhibit at the Museum of Man in San Diego, guest curated by Tom Levy. At the San Diego Museum of Art, Chisa 3 researchers are applying infrared, radar, and other imaging technologies, along with historical research to centuries-old paintings. The project is prototyping a digital clinical chart, analyzing paintings as a doctor would treat a new patient prior to diagnosing the best way to preserve the artwork. We will understand finally how a work of art was created, uh, what was the technique used by the artist, which were the pigments used by the artist, as well as we will establish in a very objective way what is the state of conservation, the health of the, of the work of art. Barely one year old, Chisa 3 is already making strides to ensure its institutional permanence. It is working with some of the top museums and cultural institutions in the world. The National Geographic Society recently named Saracini a National Geographic Fellow and is collaborating with Chisa 3 on the Anghiari project. The center will also create a curriculum to train students and is having no trouble finding graduate and undergraduate recruits to work on its high-profile projects. To be associated to the most important masterpieces worldwide and consider that a job and to uh, contribute as well to a better understanding and to the conservation of these masterpieces, uh, uh, students uh, from different disciplines are seeing this opportunity as really unique. So I think this is an incredible chance uh, for San Diego, for UCSD, for all of us to show what we can do and how well we can do it. In doing so, Chisa 3 hopes to prove that its blend of art and science will provide research opportunities and careers for generations of students at UCSD and elsewhere, and in the process make a significant contribution to the world's cultural heritage. <laughs>